welcome to Rel's Room. I finally got my own gameplay channel. I've got my own HD capture card now, and I'm really looking forward to getting some live commentaries and all that sort of stuff up. But something that so many of you have been requesting on our main channel, our vlogging channel, VP Brothers, which you can check out there if you haven't already, uh, is to have a Clash of the Titans, VP Dad versus VP James. So that is going to be the first series that I want to be doing. And you know, if you guys like it, I might do it on some other games or just sort of repeat it again for rematches, that sort of thing. But the first thing we need to decide is who's going to be playing in my room and who's going to be playing in my brother's room. Uh, it's going to be a one versus one shipment, GB rules obviously, domination, search and destroy, TDM. And they're going to play all three game types even if it ended up 3-0 or something. So you'll be able to see them playing everything. But we're going to decide who's playing in whose room. And thanks to the person who commented on the VP Brothers channel comments there who recommended doing an FNG. So... Uh, the first video that I'm going to do on my channel is my dad playing FNG on COD4. Best time wins, whoever gets the best time chooses whose room they want to play in, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, here we go, we do have VP Dad set up on webcam in the top left hand corner, and he's just going to go straight for this FNG now, sliding down the rope and get some nice hit fire shots out on the targets. Having a little bit of trouble on the woodwork there, but he's going to manoeuvre around, try and get a better position. And is he going to be able to take the third one out? He does manage to do it. So he's just going to sprint down the stairs now. What I want you, all you guys to do who are watching this video is just to comment below who you will be supporting in this epic one versus one between VP Dad and VP James. I might put together a bit of a chart or something to see what you guys are thinking. Flashbang through the door with only 25 seconds gone. Getting a nice spray through the wood. Running into the next room. Two targets pop up. He's got to get that reload. Get that ammo back in that magazine. He's not choosing to switch. He's windmilling. He's trying to get the last guy. He does take him out. Into, into the sixth part of this FNG now, getting the flashback through the door. Just doesn't want to flash himself. Good play, hiding behind the wood. And he's getting another spray, having a lot of trouble with that last person who's just popping up behind the barrels. It is a hard shot to make, though, in all fairness to VP Dad. He's got to get to that final position. There is 54 seconds gone on the clock, only six seconds left. And this is not looking good at all. I don't think he's going to make it to the end. And he is out of time. So attempt number one, no time recorded. Will he be able to get anything in attempt number two and three? Let's see what he can do. Down the rope again, spraying those targets. A little better accuracy, I feel, this time, although struggling with the final two remaining targets. He's going to throw a flashbang, you know, just trying to blind him so they can't see him. And he manages to take him out, so he needs to be running now, guys. He needs to be getting down those stairs. He is behind. He's way behind on time in his first attempt. But he is going to get the reload. He sees that guy popping up down the stairs. And he takes him out. He's using the aim function of the controller, something we've not seen VP Dad doing before. Flashbang through the door. Both targets are down in very quick time. Moving into position five. Both targets popping up. And he's missed the target. He's choked it. He's throwing the flashbang through the door. He doesn't realize that he's missed that target in room six. And he's just going to spray the mannequin. That is no good. He needs to get that target. He saw it. Oh, and he's just, he's missed it. He's completely blind. 47 seconds. That could have been an amazing run from VP Dad. But he is running back. And he's trying to get through the door. He sees him. He's spraying. He gets a nice shot. Flashbang through the door. That's all he's got to do now. And he chooses the wrong door to flashbang. As you can see from the webcam there. Even flashbanging himself. Attempt number three, guys. We are going to need him to complete this. If he doesn't do this, then he's going to have no recorded time at all. So he's sliding down the rope. There is a lot riding on his final attempt. He's using the aim function of the controller well this time. Uh, I want to just make you all aware. We did actually switch down to sensitivity two. And it may have worked not in his favor at all. There is he's struggling to get through the door target pops up and he gets a turn on a sprain and he doesn't get him he's gone back he takes him out of the last bullet target is down let's see what he can do in the next room he gets the flashbang out and he's flashed himself this is not going well at all 28 seconds gone on the clock he needs to kill both of those targets both of them are down now moving into position five he is behind time but all he's got to do is finish it and he missed the target again he's turning back and he does get him He's just got to go into the final room now and get that flashbang out. Can he do it? He gets the flashbang. He hides behind cover. Good play there from VP Dad. Reloading. He needs to switch to his alternative weapon in situations like that. But 50 seconds gone on the clock. 51, 52. Can he get to the final before the time runs out? This is going to be very, very close. And he is going to make it. 58.9 seconds. Well played, VP Dad. Can VP James beat him?